Hello and welcome you watching ND TV I am Vedant Agarwal our lead story well jailed gangster Mukhtar Ansari has died at 63 he was lodged at the Banda jail where he was serving life imprisonment and he suffered a cardiac arrest after which he was admitted to the Banda Medical College and now a medical bulletin has been released which says that he has died after suffering cardiac arrest remember he is Uttar Pradesh is one of the most dreaded gangsters and he has been a five term MLA as well uh, and he has uh, over 60 cases against him several murder cases against him as well and now he has died at the age of 63 the samajwadi party meanwhile has put out a post on social media platform x as well uh, put out uh, its condolences uh, this after mukhtar ansari died in banda there's heavy security in and around the hospital my colleague tanish punjabi has more details Yes of course you know the medical bulletin clearly says uh, Mukhtar Ansari at the age of 63 passed away at 8:25 pm this evening on uh, Thursday evening at 8:25 pm Mukhtar Ansari passed away uh, you know two days back he was brought to the Banda hospital the Rani Durgawati Medical College in Banda uh, and two days back you know uh, he was uh, his uh, treatment was given and he was he was uh, he was taken back to the uh, Banda uh, to the Banda jail but today again his health deteriorated uh he was brought to the hospital but uh but he was a team of nine doctors was operating on him but of course you know he passed away at uh 825 so a very important development here a uh, gangster turned politician who has been a six time mla from the mau district of uttar pradesh uh, uh has passed away he has been he has been uh, uh, mla he was previously associated with the bahujan samaj party as well and uh, you know gangster turned politician a very uh, uh, a very uh, notorious figure here especially in the parts of eastern uttar pradesh so uh, mukhtar ansari has uh, now passed away uh, if i talk about the security so of course security is beefed up uh, near near uh, the medical college near the medical college in banda in the, uh, the rana durga uh, rani durgawati medical college if, and if i talk about uh, mau and the gazipur district definitely the security has beefed up over there as as well so his hometown is gazipur in uh, uh, his hometown is gazipur in in eastern uttar pradesh and mau of uh, mau of course security has been beefed up in mau as well because he has been a six time mla from there as well but yes as of now what we are hearing is that mukhtar ansari the fame uh, the infamous gangster turned politician has now passed away you know samajwadi party uh, you know has is first to you know put out a reaction uh, uh, of course you know mukhtar ansari's brother is a you know samajwadi party has given uh, mukhtar ansari's brother afzal ansari a ticket for the upcoming lok sabha elections as well so of course you know uh, they they of course definitely the whole ansari family holds political influence over the past of eastern uttar pradesh as well but uh, you know uh, uh, if i talk about if i talk about a little bit of history uh you know he was he was of course in famous uh, uh in famous for all the criminal activities but it was in 1995 when he first entered politics so in 1995 he first entered he first entered politics uh through of course student politics uh, but in the 90 but in 1996 he fought his very first uh he fought he fought his very first election and has been you know uh, again time and again winning uh winning from mau constituency And moving now to the other big headline well a blow to the battered BRS in Telangana the BRS general secretary and one of the party's top leaders Keshava Rao is set to quit the party and join the congress he says congress is his parent party in fact Keshava Rao's daughter is also set to quit the BRS uh, uh, she is a Hyderabad mayor remember but this is the BRS's Varangal candidate has also uh, withdrawn from the poll fray saying that the BRS ha- BRS's image in fact has suffered a major dent after back to back corruption cases from the liquor policy case to the phone tapic row our senior colleague Uma Sudhir gets us more details Yes indeed when it pours it rains we say or is it the other way around when it rains it pours and that's what is happening to the BRS after its uh, rout in the assembly elections it's been a series of setbacks that it has suffered and the latest uh, with Keshav Rao uh, who's uh, been with the party for the last uh, year, 12 years now announcing that he is uh, quitting the party and I just spoke to him in fact and he has confirmed that yes he is leaving the party but he asked me this question saying that I have been with the congress for 52 years and with the BRS for only about 
about 10 to 12 years and therefore this is homecoming for me i was on a pilgrimage and i have to come back home uh, at the end of my career i'm 84 years old and therefore i'm going back uh, uh, to the congress itself so that is his statement his daughter happens to be the mayor of hyderabad vijay lakshmi and she is also reported uh, to be heading back uh, uh, heading to the congress she was of course elected as uh, mayor when she was with the brs and she is going to be heading back uh, to the congress as well it looks but uh, yes like you mentioned kadiyam srihari's daughter he used to be deputy chief minister in kcr cabinet the earlier term and uh, she is also uh, she was nominated as the candidate for warangal and in her case she has also listed out the reasons why she's leaving and she has said corruption land grab cases phone tapping liquor uh, scandal all of that she says have damaged the image of the party and see she says there is no coordination or cooperation uh, at the district level among the leaders and therefore she has decided that she will withdraw from this particular race so while the brs was not able to find any candidates to contest in the elections someone who had been named as a candidate withdrawing from the race certainly not uh, good news at all for the brs and i must point out that rs pravin kumar uh, former ips officer who was with the bahujan samaj party and now uh, recently joined the brs he is probably being renamed as uh, the uh, general secretary for the party and many of these other leaders who are quitting or not wanting to join the race are uh, certainly headed towards other parties like the congress already revan reddy right. chief minister said that the gates have now opened and it does appear that you are going to see a flood of exits uh, from the brs so bad optics for the brs right ahead of the polls but moving now to tragic news from chennai three people have died in a roof collapse that happened in chennai at a chennai bar in fact uh, the first floor of the building's roof uh, of the building collapsed and uh, it was during renovation work that the tragic incident took place what can you say in terms of the loss of life and the possible causes for the roof collapse of this bar as i already uh, already briefed uh, there are three casualties all three are uh, uh, casual workers of this bar uh, and uh, we have taken them we have taken them out and all the debris have been cleared uh, the, the 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 radius the diameter of uh, 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 the actual operation the actual accident is not more than 2 3 uh, meters and everything has been cleared by uh, the fire and rescue team ndrf is here and uh, our commando Uh, state uh, disaster response force is also here all precautions has been taken investigation is on the reason for uh, the accident has to be investigated by the experts of uh, the building who can study on the structure of the building and who, uh, they can only actually uh, pronounce on whatever uh, would have gone wrong or what would be the reason and moving now to the other big headline the nia the national investigation agency has now made its first arrest in the bengaluru rameshwaram cafe blast case the accused uh, has been placed in custody in fact another accused is absconding but after multiple raids uh, by the nia across three states the uh, the major accused in fact the nia says the key conspirator has been arrested my colleague pratibha raman has more details It is definitely a major breakthrough that uh, we witnessed, especially after the blast that took place on March 1st. Remember, March 3rd was when uh, the NIA took over, and what we hear is that uh, there are two of the accused who have been identified. One is uh, Musawir, and the other is Abdul Taha, and uh, they are still absconding. And the NIA is on the hunt for these two, who seem to be key conspirators in this particular case. That apart, we uh, now hear that uh, there is one arrest that has been made, which is definitely a major lead as far as this case is concerned, and that is uh, Musawir Sharif, and he seems to be the one. who provided logistical support is what we hear from the nia sources and uh, this would definitely provide a major lead in terms of how they can really crack this case in the meantime the hunt is already on simultaneously to find out the two key conspirators that i was talking about yes uh, this is definitely going to be one of the major leads for the nia especially after the blast that took place and no arrest no leads no breakthroughs for quite some time remember raids were conducted in karnataka tamil nadu as well as uttar pradesh and it is only after the raids that we hear of this arrest now and moving now to news from madhya pradesh well mass exits from various opposition uh, parties uh, leaders jumping ship to the bjp uh, from the all important madhya pradesh and this remember while the bjp interestingly has a new joining group as well so the big question are these exits being engineered take a look at this report जिंदाबाद 
In election season, a deluge of opposition leaders and workers at the BJP state office in Madhya Pradesh's capital Bhopal. The BJP claims the exodus from the opposition is in such large numbers that the party has been forced to form a special group to oversee the new joinings, called New Joining Toli. The BJP Neta in charge is ex Madhya Pradesh Home Minister Narottam Mishra, who claims that in the last two months more than 16,000 Congress, BSP, and SP leaders have joined. Congress <laughs> बगदल के हालात में अभी तक आज के छोड़ के 14,758 लोग ये वो लोग बात कर रहा हूँ मैं जो केंद्रीय मंत्री रहे हैं वो राज्य में सांसद रहे विधायक रहे A joining committee has been formed in every district by the BJP, which includes MPs, MLAs, and senior leaders of the party. The committee screens all those who want to join. and forwards names to the top state leadership including CM Mohan Yadav. हमारे जो भी आदरणीय साथी भारतीय जनता पार्टी की वॉशिंग मशीन में धुलकर पवित्र होने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं उन्हें उनके कर्मों के आधार पर चार चीजें दिखाई दे रही हैं जेल सीबीआई ईडी और पुलिस इन मध्य प्रदेश बीजेपी इज कॉन्स्टेंटली ट्राइंग टू वीक इन द कांग्रेस एंड द अदर ऑपोजिशन पार्टीज इन मध्य प्रदेश बीजेपी इज वर्किंग ऑन टू स्ट्रेटेजीज फर्स्ट इज टू स्ट्रेंथ इन देयर ओन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सेकंड इज टू क्रिएट अ मेंटल प्रेशर ऑन द कांग्रेस एंड द ऑपोजिशन पार्टी बट नाउ द बिगेस्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट हाउ मच बीजेपी विल बी बेनिफिटेड इन द कमिंग लोकसभा इलेक्शन पर्टिकुलरली इन द छिंदवाड़ा सीट विद कैमरा पर्सन अभिषेक सिंह फ्रॉम भोपाल अमृतांशी जोशी फॉर एनडी टीवी So the great opposition exodus there in Madhya Pradesh. But moving now to our special report from UP, where in Hamirpur, certain villages have decided to boycott the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. This, as they say, that last mile connectivity is still a pipe dream. They've come up with the slogan "No bridge, no vote," because remember, there uh, they've been demanding for better connectivity for decades now. My colleague Tanish Punjabi reports. A big national election with lots of political rhetoric, but for crores of people in India's small towns and villages, it's key local issues like last mile connectivity that matter. For years, residents of multiple villages under the Pailani Tehsil, part of Uttar Pradesh's Hamirpur Lok Sabha seat, have been demanding the construction of a concrete bridge. to replace the current wooden one built two decades ago villagers say a new bridge will open up a shorter safer motorable path to their villages wahan se leke hamirpur se ghum ke kanpur mein repair hote hain banda ke mari hai repair kaam kanpur hota hai ek ghante and then the long detours they have to take right now to access nearby towns despite repeated appeals their demand has not been fulfilled leaving them frustrated and disillusioned residents of the kanakheda village along with several others have decided to boycott the elections they say pull nahi to vote nahi meaning no vote if a bridge is not constructed 40 year old ram kishore of the kanakheda village lost his pregnant wife 5 months ago because he had to take a longer route to get her to a hospital from his village agar ye pul hamara bana hota to aaj meri biwi bachchi zinda hote hamare bachchon ki delivery honi thi kanpur se banda se refer hua banda se refer hone ke baad jo kanpur le jane leke ja rahe the to na to sar yahan koi koi sadhan pul ka na koi bus ki yatra hai to sar hamare jaate jaate kanpur le jaate jaate sar hamari patni ki swargwas ho gaya 30 year old shinu lost her one year old daughter on the way to a hospital in kanpur 6 months ago 
अगर इधर से पुल होता तो यहाँ से जल्दी पहुंच जाते कान तो इधर से कोई दिक्कत नहीं रहती है The wooden bridge on the river is not operational for almost half of the year and when operational the condition of the bridge is a threat to people crossing it. ये बरसात में जून में 15 जून से टूट जाता है और ये जाके जनवरी में बनता है दिसंबर जनवरी में तो चरात महीना का समय होता है उस समय अगर कोई व्यक्ति बीमार हो जाता है या किसी को दिक्कत है तो घूम के जाना पड़ता है हमीरपुर से मरीज को बड़ी दिक्कत होती है तो सरकार से मिल करेंगे ये पुल बनवाएं हमारे इसको लेकर के सरकार स्वयं चिंतित है विधायक जी जो वर्तमान में मंत्री है और मैं भी सांसद होने के नाते हम लोग इस बात के लिए अनेकों बार उसके लिए लिखे प्रयास किए और बीच में भी हम लोग माननीय मुख्यमंत्री से समय लेकर के उनको देकर के वो मामला पूरा प्रगति की ओर है और मांग निश्चित रूप से उनकी आगे आने वाले समय में पूरी होगी टू स्टैंड ऑन द मिडल ऑफ दिस ब्रिज बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स कंडीशन and these broken words perhaps signify the broken hopes and the promises made to them and that is why they have decided no pull no vote that means if no bridge is made this time they will not cast their vote with camera person virendra kumar saini manish mishra and tanish punjabi for ndtv so something as basic as last mile connectivity is still a far dream we we'll take a short break now but news continues on the other side Welcome back the big political showdown in the national capital it was the enforcement directorate versus Arvind Kejriwal inside the Delhi court on Thursday well Arvind Kejriwal said the only mission of the enforcement directorate is to finish the Aam Aadmi party meanwhile the enforcement directorate made a startling claim inside court saying that Arvind Kejriwal himself uh requested for or asked for 100 crore rupees as kickbacks in the now scra- uh, now scrap liquor policy when it was implemented uh so arvind kejriwal also being sent to four more days of the enforcement directorate's custody take a look no relief for delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal as a court in the national capital sent him to four more days of ed custody the probe agency had asked for an additional week saying Mr Kejriwal was not cooperating in the probe into the Delhi excise policy case and that the chief minister is not above the law Arvind Kejriwal was given the permission to address the court directly now in a brief but impassioned speech Arvind Kejriwal accused the probe agency of trying to crush his party Now the ED countered this by saying that Arvind Kejriwal was being evasive in all his replies to the agency. The enforcement director told court that Mr Kejriwal was not giving his password for digital data that they needed to confront the Delhi chief minister with other accused that the Delhi CM is not above the law and that aap got kickbacks and used money in the Goa elections. Arvind Kejriwal told court that the ED wants to destroy AAP that the BJP government was trying to crush the party and if this is a 100 crore rupee scam where did the money go he said no court has proven him guilty and that the scam starts after the ED investigation ye political schedule rahe janta iska jawab degi kya desh ka kanoon अरविंद केजरीवाल और आम आदमी पार्टी के लिए अलग से बना दिया जाए तो कानून की माने कि अरविंद केजरीवाल की माने मिस्टर केजरीवाल मीन वाइल हैली हाई कोर्ट अगेंस्ट हिज अरेस्ट आर्ग्यूंग दैट द मैनर इन विच द प्रोब एजेंसी वॉयलेटेड हिज फंडामेंटल राइट द डेली हाई कोर्ट डिड नॉट गिव एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ इंटरम रिलीफ टू मिस्टर केजरीवाल इंस्टेड द डेली हाई कोर्ट हैड टोल्ड इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट टू फाइल अ रिप्लाई बाय अप्रैल सेकेंड द मैटर इज नाउ लिस्टेड on april 3rd this is ashwari jain for ndtv in delhi moving now to business news in the first collaboration between billionaires mukesh ambani's reliance industries has picked up a 26% stake in a madhya pradesh power project of gautam adani and signed a pact to use the plant's 500 megawatts of uh, electricity for captive use reliance will pick up 5 crore equity shares uh, in the mahan energy uh, limited a wholly owned subsidiary of adani power limited and will use 500 megawatts of generation capacity for captive use That's all the time that we have on the show from all of us here. Goodbye.